We met of all places in front of Christie's some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some fruit loops he had dropped by the curb. And he made some remark that my smile was superb. I thought that was sweet. And I started to go. And he said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here at the corner of Bleaker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved, and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him, mostly to see if he'd show, and there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight. He took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight. The next week we went to this terrible play, and the week after that, drank hot chocolate all day. And suddenly, eight or nine months had gone by, and he said, hey, what you doing the rest of your life? Cause I'll be here, right beside you, and Whenever you want me to, there is no question. There's nothing I've wanted so much in my life. This may sound immature, but I'm totally sure you're the one. And we had just begun. We got hitched in September, our favorite month, with a rock band that played in an old synagogue. And we got an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash, and we promised we'd take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. But I heard on the street what I thought was a joke, till I noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voice Mary left with the last words he said. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening by bringing up all of this stuff. You're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Today something happened that spooked me all night. I saw a storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky. And I thought of that day, and I started to cry. That's when sure as I breathe, I heard John clear as day say, Hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay, because I'll be here. Even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater Even if you go out on my birthday this year Instead of staying at home, letting all of life's moments pass by You don't have to cry Because I'll be here When you start going back to the places we went to together when you take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true and he says that he wants to be married to you when you call him one night and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes yes Jason I will marry you I will give you my heart it has taken so long but I'm ready to start. Right now, John is whispering congrats in my ear. Because I finally let myself tell you that I will be.